I've always been a big fan of the idea of bringing characters from one form of media to another, usually it turns out very cursed. But I wanted to challenge myself to create monsters for my singing monsters that are heavily based on video game characters, this video is inspired by True Green 7 with his series of turning characters into Pokemon, so go check out his video after this one, he makes great content. Anyways, let's get straight into this. Starting off with one of the most iconic video game characters and characters in general, Mario. Now the human characters might be a bit harder to do. So I'm gonna have to be creative with this to make it look good. So my idea is to make this monster a completely original species, kind of like Spirit or Ma, it's not based on any real animal just an original monster design. So keep in mind with these, I'm not an artist and I'm really new to art, but I'll try my best. At first I was going to give him human skin like spirit, but then I had the idea to make his body out of bricks. I wanted to incorporate his big nose and mustache into the design, and of course the big red hat. It's a relatively simple design, but Mario is also a simple character so it fits. I'm actually pretty proud with how I did here considering this is my first attempt at real shading and stuff. Here is the final design, its name is Brikimoto, a nod to the creator of Mario, Shigeru Miyamoto. This monster is an instrumentalist and plays by stomping its feet and shooting coins out from under its hat. Here is what it sounds like. The rare and epic versions can be based on Luigi and Wario, this is obviously just a recolor because I don't feel like making whole new rare and epic designs. Anyways the next character is Sonic the Hedgehog. Now obviously this one is gonna be spiky and hedgehog like, but I wanna do something unique, so I'm gonna try my best to not just make it look like a blue hedgehog. So at first I was gonna base it off of the spin dash ball, but I ended up just going for a more hedgehog look. I had the idea to put rings in its tail so it can shake it and make a sound. Here is the monster. Its name is Ring Dash and it plays its sound by shaking its tail and rolling into a ball. Next character is Pac-Man. Everyone knows Pac-Man, your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, dog, cat, fish, rat, chick, gnat, whale, snail, bear, hare. Literally every living thing on this planet has heard of Pac-Man, he's just so iconic. So for this design I wanted to incorporate an arcade machine into it somehow. So I thought to make it its body. I'm honestly not a big fan of how this one turned out, probably my least favorite one. So here it is, its name is Wacka Wacka, based on the sound Pac-Man makes. Here is its sound. For this last one I wanted to do an indie game character, so I decided to do Freddy Fazbear. So for this design I didn't really have any idea, I just winged it and started drawing. But it ended up looking a bit too much like Freddy. So I had an idea to make the head a mask that the monster wears as a disguise, kind of the like the souls trapped in the animatronics in the game. Here is Faz Crawl. I forgot to give the other monsters a bio so here is Fez Crawl's bio. The Fez Crawl is a shy monster, but loves to entertain. It uses spare metal parts to create a robotic mask so it can use it and entertain other monsters without having stage fright. Here is its sound. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay so before we end the video, hey race a short little song with all the monsters together, maybe if I make more of these videos I can add those to the song as well. Thanks for watching this video. If you want me to continue these videos and make it a series, like the video, subscribe, and comment down below the word popsicle. Bye. Wait what? Did the lights just go out? Oh crap.